Okay, so I'm going to show you how to remove the trim on this trailer. Um, some of the trim, they had replaced the rivets with some sheet metal screws. But most of your trailers are going to have rivets. Okay, these are just aluminum rivets. And what we're going to do is drill those rivets out. A lot of people don't really know how to approach that, how to do it. I'm going to show you up close and personal how to do that. So for this, you're going to need some gloves, some glasses. Things probably won't get noisy enough for earplugs, but if you want them, you can use them. Um, a pry bar. Um, I don't know, I think this is like a 15 inch pry bar. Um, a hammer, a hammer of the drive, pry bar maybe, mainly. It's just because sometimes these get a little bit stuck um, prying them off. You'll see what I'm talking about. Sometimes they just fall right off. Um, I use a DeWalt, a 20 volt drill, um, and this is a 3 16th bit with a pilot point. What that means, it's got a little knobby on the end so it can get into these, this hole here. I'll show it up a close view. Um, I'll put all, a link in the description um, to all the tools I use on, on all my videos throughout this build. I'll do that. So let's get to drilling out these, uh, these rivets and removing the, some of this trim. This applies to bas basically all the trim, especially this flat trim on the trailer. And save your trim because I'll also show you um, how to renew that trim in order to use it again to either reinstall it where you took it off or uh, in a different location if you need to use a piece. So these rivets, this is what they look like, a new one. So it's a hole drilled, you put this in there and you use a rivet gun and it essentially pulls this part up into that rivet expanding it and it holds that in place. So. We gotta remove that. Well, it's not like a, you know, a bolt or anything that you can just unscrew. So we've gotta drill that out. Good thing is it's aluminum, so it's soft. I'm using a 3 16th bit. I've used a 9 64th bit before, and it worked good, but this, all we're wanting to do is drill and disconnect that head from the rest of the rivet to where this thing can pop off. So usually it's just a straightforward drill. Not, you don't have to put a lot of pressure on it. And you might have to kind of waller it like that. So let's do that. Just like that. Didn't take hardly any effort. The head is off of that. That rivet is now loose, okay? You keep doing that. You only want to make it to where that rivet comes loose. You don't want to you don't want to drill all the way through um, all the way through your metal. That one. There you go. So now we've got this top area is loose. This is where the pry bar comes in, all right? You just put it right underneath there, right underneath the edge. There you go, see that? Now that's all loose. And you can do the same thing with that, with that metal underneath. This has actually got another rivet underneath there, which is weird, but I'll drill that out too. So anyway, I'll remove all this trim, then I'll remove that rock guard. So anyway, hopefully that explains how to drill rivets and you can do this, you do this on any rivet you find, you can do that.